go, 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 go. We're getting started late on a project. If you remember a few weeks ago, I prefaced a little video of a hint of something that we were getting, that we were building, and then we were excited to have on farm. Two new chicken tractors. It's kind of a smaller version of the Primal Pastures or a bigger version of the Joel Salatin mix. So we are excited about trying these out. We're gonna show you us building them and we'll tell you a little bit about them. We are ecstatic. We've got two sizes, one small for our, our chickens that are gonna be our broilers, and then one big that we're gonna actually be able to use as a laying house uh, across the ground. So there's gonna be a new permaculture style uh, feeding the ground style, of course, egg layer. So very traditional, but at the same time, being able to roll it across. We're excited to show you these chicken tractors. You got a pretty good farmer's tan right there. I know. Does he have a pretty good farmer's tan? Mine's probably worse. We all do. <laughs> Yours is not as bad as AA. So. She. Look look at that. That. Yeah, that's pretty. It's, it's not as bad as AA. Are you showing off your muscles? Mat. Is that what this is? Muscles? <laughs> <laughs> So we got two more hose clamps put on and then we'll start putting the wheel sets on. These are it's actually pretty simple looking, but it has no directions. That makes uh it kind of hard to put together, wouldn't you say? This reminds me of like a man's directions. Ah, we look at the picture and go with it. That's really <laughs> what you do. You look at the picture and go with it. Hey, see if we got a, uh... Hey, y'all do dudes. How y'all do dudes right there? Show me your muscles. Bring me a... See if the ratchet's got a... Well, it's late. We'll show you during the day tomorrow, but man, we got it built. It is done, so... It's about, whoop, it's about eight o'clock out here. So we start and end uh, <laughs> at dark. We gotta build the other one. We'll start it tomorrow morning. So we got the first one built right now. We don't even have a Cornish cross in it. We have the piglets. Build the second one right quick. This is the bigger one. And this is the one that will have the layer box on it. Just like this morning, we had a ton of chickens out. This will allow us to put them in here have a second de uh, dairy set of egg layers and they're actually working over the field. So it's gonna be really nice. So I think me and Aiden should remember how to do this. You remember how to do it? I don't even know where those, well those directions should be in that bag. Huh? We're gonna get this one built and uh, see if we can get it, uh, get some chickens in it. Cause I'm tired of catching chickens every morning. We actually gotta catch all those too. this bolt in now it's going to, we're going to put the uh, actually lift where we actually lift it up and put it on his rollers with that suspension this is going to be that bar Aiden's getting the u-bolts now we'll get those on there hey what are y'all doing what are y'all doing well, climbing on the hay climbing on the hay hey watch for snakes me and bubby saw how many snakes did we see the other day two 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 just like two days ago 
a big one and a small one. Hey, so be careful. Fun. It's actually cool today. It's really cool today. It was cold milking. I've been wearing like my insulated bibs because it is chilly in South Mississippi. We're actually starting to get some of that that cool weather. These jackets come in handy. It'll get back hot though probably in the next few days, but for right now it is chilly. one wheel on one to go we'll secure this is what's so cool to me about this whole rig is that you'll put the suspension on there and, and and what is so neat is as you lift up the bar because of the suspension it lifts up the tires i think that's the coolest thing it's a great design i've, I've really have been pleased with these so far and the way they're constructed i think it's gonna be a really good thing especially like right now when we have chickens out just makes me feel like, hey, they're protected. But not only that, I don't have to worry about them getting into our broccoli, into our gardens. So this is going to be a really cool chicken tractor. We, we went with chicken tractors before. You've seen the wood ones. But the wood ones, they, they wear out, they rot. We're going to replace screws. I'm hoping these metal, these galvanized and metal versions will really do a good job and uh, hold up. And not only hold up to a point where um, we're not having to, to bit and piece them and they make sense they're made to do what we're doing versus us having to build something so i'm anxious to see how they do over time and you done playing on the hay huh you got hay all over you you're gonna be itching tonight you could take i mean you could take a, a dog kennel or a chicken coop that they make a track supply and do the same thing but to me what really tops this off is the wheels and having it be a chicken tractor and by using this bar with the suspension hooks right here it allows you to then use the wheels to help you move it it allows you to pick up the wheels from the back by using this bar up front it's really a unique design that i think it's spot on when it comes to uh, chicken tractors hey i like that hat dude yeah it's chilly out here isn't it yeah yes sir Y'all got a pretty view from up there, huh? Y'all are cold. high. It's so cold. It's cold. Yeah. Keep the hat on because it's chilly up here. Yeah. Let me. I'll take on the other one. Oh, that's a little food. What? Hit your open case and button to go in there. So the birds are gonna go in there and that opens the cage? Yeah. We got no two there. What? I love doing there because it's too hot. You mean it's too cold? Yeah. Mom got a kid. Bell open. Peppa Pig. I want you to be a pig in there and go run around. Go. Oh, Peppa Pig. Only Peppa Pig does that. <laughs> Looks like uh, the calf got out. <laughs> they sit right at the edge of the fence, the calf does. And they accidentally raise up. When they raise up, it pushes themselves under the barbed wire. It happens with every one of our calves. So we're going to get her back in right quick. Just hold it open. Call Josie, Harley. It's okay. There you go. Good job. This is what happens when you have small calves. They come out, don't they? Yep. We've gotten every one of them back in, I think. How many times have we chased animals? Multiple. Multiple. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cast back in. You see the greenhouse? We still have got to do this. Hey, now are you going to build this soon? I'm going to let you do it all. Sure. You going to build it all? Sure. It's only 100 foot by 36. That's not that bad. 
Hey, we got to name uh, name the truck. We still haven't done that. We're going to, have to reveal that next week. But uh, Aiden's got a good name, so I think I think we're going to use his. But I need y'all's suggestions too, and we'll decide. But she's looking good, huh? Better. Better. It's all better. I need a battery because it like died on me once yesterday. Yay. We got it built. I don't know, Aiden. Life of the chicken might be pretty nice in this thing. Ask Justin Rose that question. I mean, it really might be nice. We are, uh, we're done. Aiden's got the side rolled up right now so I could get out. I'm so worn out from doing chores, I might just chill here. Well, you can do that. I'll stay out here. <laughs> All right, so now the fun begins. We actually got to get the chickens in here. We got the laying box on here. I think the laying box is just an afterthought. I don't know if I would say this is perfect because it's so small i think you can get hens in here to lay but if if that's your primary objective you may need two or three laying boxes uh if your primary objective is to feed your ground and have fresh grass for your chickens to eat this is going to be awesome if your objective is just to have eggs i would probably do two nesting boxes maybe put one over here we have one but it's been a that was one that kind of got messed up in freight so they sent us a brand new one so it's got a little perch with it i would have put another one right here if this was our primary laying hutch but it's not it's just secondary so we've got it it's perfect chickens can't be on rocks so let's move it out to a pasture we're gonna put it on the areas that are not doing really well and uh let the chickens do their magic do their little uh, chicken dance That, that uh pasture come on man i don't know hope uh... <laughs> i'm running to you oh sucker <laughs> Can't run from me. Be the man. I know she thinks she's the man. Just like you gonna help me catch chickens with wheels? <laughs> go 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 go! Now you know you're not gonna catch the chicken. I think you just wanted to run and get some exercise. Dang, y'all gotta help me. Help you? You're like chasing like you're the crazy one. Yeah, Alright, so it took you how long to check that one? Hey, I got it. Are you out of breath? A Let's bit. see if you're out of breath. Look, are you out of breath? I said. Hey, no I called a chicken. I've got these chickens on her. Woo! What is that like? You swapped with that one like 14 times, didn't you? Is that dumplings tonight instead of Possibly. egg layer? Is this not a gorgeous day? Yeah, it finally warmed up enough to enjoy. Well, I'm glad you're out with us. Finally. Finally. The house chores. Ain't gonna do themselves. Do you hear hey. that? They ain't gonna do themselves.